Good morning, Year 3, and welcome to English on Tuesday, the 19th of January. Today, we're going to be planning to write our version of the text, The Truth About Trolls. So let's start by retelling our text using the text map one more time. Here we go. Most people think that trolls are mean and horrible, but that is not true. What do trolls look like? Trolls are huge. They have small, beady eyes, round, bulbous noses, and sharp yellow teeth. Some trolls have curved horns like a goat, and some don't, and no one knows why. Where do trolls live? Trolls like to live where it's cold. They make their homes in caves near volcanoes, and they live in small family groups, and they live there peacefully. There was one troll who lived under a bridge, and he was mean and nasty, so the other trolls don't like to talk about him. What do trolls eat? Trolls eat seafood like fish. They go fishing at night when they can hide in the darkness. They also like to gather large mushrooms and roots. They usually eat their food raw, but sometimes they cook it over hot stones. Did you know that trolls love to sing and dance? When they sing, it sounds like thunder. And when they dance, they're so large, it feels like an earthquake. Trolls are very shy. And so they like to hide from humans. So if you see a large rock, it could just be a sleeping troll. So it's really clear to tell in our text map that there's a structure, a pattern that we have here for our text. Because first we have the heading, the title of the text, which was the truth about trolls. That tells us what we're going to learn in that text. And then we have the introduction, those two or three sentences just to hook your reader. Right, we talked about how maybe they're mean, but actually that's not true and they're actually really nice. Then we had four subheadings, four sections to our text. So the first one was, what do trolls look like? Where do trolls live? What do trolls eat? And did you know? And the facts that are connected to those questions are where we'll find them in our text. So now you're thinking of planning your own and you need to decide what your troll will be like. What are they going to eat? Where are they going to live? What are they going to look like? And that's the fun part, because here we've got some pictures of trolls. Here, the green one, that's the one that we originally saw. You could absolutely do your report on that one and borrow more ideas from the text. But if you want to get a bit more creative, I found some other pictures of trolls that you might recognize. So this one's from that really popular movie, and I know we've done a Just Dance Kids to these characters from trolls. Those are trolls. So if you had those ones, you might talk about long straight hair and large square teeth and wide eyes and a green nose, different colors of their skin, anything that you wanted to describe those trolls. Would they be large or would they be smaller trolls in that case? This one's a bit of a battle troll. That's a figurine of quite a warty looking one with sharp teeth and strong muscular arms and ooh, what else can we see? Pointy ears and small eyes. This one here is another troll from the Trolls film. Just wanted to get, I wasn't sure that one was different from these ones. He's not as sparkly as the one in the middle here. This one, I'm not sure if you've seen the movie Onward by Disney or Pixar, I can't remember. It's on Disney Plus if you have it, it's very good. So this is a troll from the movie Onward and I might talk about a really large nose, a friendly smile and huge hands. Look at the size of his hands compared to that coffee cup, crazy. But the one I'm going to do is this troll here. I thought she looked so interesting. I think this is a troll that's based on some pictures of um, trolls in places like Iceland. So I'm going to use this troll to help me with my planning and pull it down here so I can see it a little bit easier. So introduction, many people believe that. However, this is not true. Those are the two phrases that I wanted to keep in mind when I'm writing. So. I think I'm not going to do full sentences. I'm only going to use the important words or phrases that I'll need. So I'll use blue here. So I'm going to say many tropes that people believe that hmm, trolls are scary. I don't find her scary. I'm going to use the word friendly and helpful. She looks like someone who might help in the garden. She looks like maybe, I used to call them brownies or sprites. We used to help out the pretend creatures who'd help out around the house to keep everybody safe. And those were creatures from different myths and legends who would be helpful, like fairies as well. They were fair, helpful fairies. So I think she might be a helpful troll. So what do trolls look like? Well, I'm going to just think of lots of adjectives 
and nouns that I want to focus on. So she has a long nose. Oh, I'd like to see this as well. Just so it's really clear to see what are my ideas. So a long nose. She has kind eyes or friendly eyes. Friendly smile and kind eyes. You can kind of see that in there. They do look like they're going to give someone um, a happy face. Um, she has large hands and feet. Doesn't she look at her feet? They're so much bigger than the rest of her. And what can we say about her hair? She has bushy hair. I'm going to use a comma there. Bushy, whoosh, gray hair. That's really clear. So that's lots of in things. And I could use, interestingly, in one of those, interestingly, she has um, friendly eyes and a kind smile, or a friendly smile and kind eyes. Right? Interestingly, whoosh, trolls have friendly smiles and kind eyes. I can use my sentence of three for the long nose, large hands and feet, and bushy gray hair. That's my sentence of three. Again, these are just ideas. When you're doing yours, yours might be different than mine. Where do trolls live? Oh, so I want a drop-in sentence here. So I might think about one troll who lived under the bridge. I can borrow that again. I think that this troll lives, lives in a small cottage by the forest. She looks like she lives in a small cottage. Maybe there was one troll who lived in the city. That's very different than living in a cottage. So again, just ideas. I might add some more. When she lives in a small cottage by the forest, I think she lives alone. And I think, and hides from, hides from hikers, people who are walking in the woods. Maybe I'll put walkers instead of hikers, walkers people who are walking near the woods. I can add more information to that tomorrow when I'm actually, or later on in the week, sorry, when we're actually writing it. All right, what do trolls eat? All right, she is very, oh, I didn't say her size. I think she's going to be very small, very small, like an elf. Remember, we had very large, like an ogre, which is a type of giant. So I think she's going to be a very small troll, just like a little elf. And she is definitely going to eat Oh, we could be a bit gross with this. Maybe she eats insects, which are like bugs, insects. I think we can borrow mushrooms because she lives so close to the forest and roots. And here I can think of some adjectives by sentence of three. So I'm gonna borrow juicy roots. I'm going to have, I used to have a healthy broccoli. What about delicious mushrooms? Delicious mushrooms. And I could say she eats large insects large insects, whoosh, delicious delicious mushrooms, and juicy roots. And I can use that in my sentence of three later. Surprise, ooh, in addition, what's something else she could eat that's maybe a bit different from all of that? Maybe some dessert. Oh, what about if she has trolls eat the leftovers from family picnics, human family picnics? Imagine you're going to the forest, you have a bit of a snack and you leave a little bit of your sandwich behind. Maybe she'll eat that. And much would she never eat? Hmm, surprisingly, she eats trolls. Never eat. Hmm. Now, do you know what? I don't know what they never eat yet. So it's okay in my planning. If I leave myself a blank space, I might have a brilliant idea later on and I can always add that back. I don't need to have everything ready to go today. That would be too much work, but I've got some ideas so far. Now, hmm, what could her hobby be? Something that she likes to do? I don't know if she's a singer or a dancer. I bet you she's a storyteller. So I think amazingly, trolls love to tell stories. So maybe sometimes human children can hear them whispering in the woods. Ooh hear them whispering their stories in the woods. But I wonder what could she hide as? Do you think she could hide as a mushroom? Does she think she looks mushroom enough? Or maybe looks like a tree stump? <gasps> Will hide as a tree stump. There we go. That's loads of planning to think about. And I like how when I had that idea of what she does as kind of her hobby, I could really play on that and make that into something about her character. All right, there's some challenges here as well. Maybe in your planning, you could talk about what troll school is like. 
imagine if these ones are going to school. You could talk about what they do in school, what jobs they might do. Yeah, they could have, you could have a whole extra section. Instead of doing maybe did you know, you could switch it out to what do trolls do on holiday? What's in a troll's cave? That could add on to where do trolls live, all right? So this is anything that you want to add on to make your text longer than the original text because we do need at least those four paragraphs. You can swap one out or you can add one on. All right, year three, so that is your planning session for today. I will save this as a PDF so you can borrow some of my ideas as well. But now you're the author, you're in charge of the planning and this planning will help you as we write paragraph by paragraph the rest of this week and into next week. All right, take care and have fun year three. Bye.